this is just another day an architect could influence. As an architect, you can influence everyone's life throughout the day, week and year. There is no other form of art that has such a strong impact on your daily life and quality of living. The experience of architecture consists of perceptions produced by the body and the mind as we move through spaces. It's a multi-sensory experience. I will ask you some questions about your day where an architect could, could perhaps have had an influence. Do you have a calm place to sleep, even if you live in a small apartment? Does the morning sun wake you up? How does it feel when you put your bare feet on the floor? Is the light in the bathroom gentle to your face? Do you have a good view when you read the morning news? Does the news describe the urban plans for the new housing area? Do you meet your neighbors on the way to work? Do you say hi to them? Is your bike stored in a safe place during the night? Can you bike to work? Is it windy between the buildings? Do you feel safe when passing through the neighborhood? Do you pass buildings from different time periods on your way to work? What do they tell about our history? Can the buildings age in a dignified way and you with them? Do the buildings live longer than you? Do you easily find the entrance to the conference building? Does the door handle invite to touch? Do you feel welcome? How is the building's health? If it's ill, what went wrong in the design? Is there an echo in the space? Are the stairs too steep to climb? Do you have natural light in the meeting room? Are the carbon emissions from the building industry as high as last year? Do they tear down the building from the 80s just to build up a new one with nearly the same building technique? Does anyone interfere? Do you have a calm place to call your kids in the afternoon without disturbing anyone else at the office? Do you have the possibility to bike to the care home where your mother is? Can she see the sky when lying in her bed? Does the ceiling view calm her thoughts? Do the materials in the room have a pleasant smell? Can she move with her wheelchair and prepare a cup of tea for you too? Do you have a place for an intimate discussion? Is the bike path lit up on the way home? Do you see trees on the way home? Do they get enough water? Can you build a sandcastle in the courtyard with your child in the evening? Is the working table too low when you make the dishes? Did you have a good day? The role of architecture is to dignify human existence and make it possible for all other kind of life to flourish as well. It's an empathic act of imagination on how life could be. Sometimes an architect needs to be a bit of an activist to make a change. I think the most powerful way to have an impact is through executed acts. So I will end by showing three examples of how I have been working acted a bit like an activist in my own work. Uh, in the house Kissankapala in Espo, I challenged the regulation by introducing natural ventilation in the building I designed. This was the first building in the new metropolitan area after the new energy regulations. It needed a lot of extra work, but was an example for others afterwards. 
In the shelter house in Moshi in Tanzania, we provided architecture services for those that can't afford it. By both doing the fundraising and the design for the buildings, we could provide a calm and safe place and environment for victims of domestic violence. In the Architecture Speaks lecture series, I have started the discussions about values in architecture. It has been something I can do as a professor at Aalto University. Projects like these I have shown you uh, need the following. A wish to change the current state for the better, a trustful teamwork and interdisciplinarity. These are aspects I want to emphasize in my work as a professor. Thank you for listening.